Measuring success in digital projects. What are the metrics, the KPIs, and the continuous improvement that we need to be looking at? It's essential to ensure that your measurement of projects aligns with project objectives and the delivery of expected outcomes. Metrics and KPIs provide valuable insights into the progress, performance, and impact of the project, all of which enables project managers to make informed decisions and take corrective actions as needed. And one of the first steps in measuring success is to establish clear and measurable project objectives. And these objectives should be aligned with the overall business goals and agreed with the stakeholders, plus they must be smart in the sense that they are specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, and time-bound. Well-defined objectives provide a foundation for selecting appropriate metrics and KPIs to then track the project progress and success towards meeting those goals. And once the objectives are defined, the next step is then to identify uh, relevant metrics and KPIs. Metrics are quantitative measurements that provide data on various project aspects such as cost, time, quality, scope, and customer satisfaction. Whereas KPIs, on the other hand, are specific metrics that are directly linked to the project objectives and serve as indicators of project success. They're going to be unique to what the project is actually delivering. So you need to select metrics and KPIs that are relevant, meaningful, and aligned with the overall project objectives in order to ensure accurate and actionable measurement of success. And in addition to selecting metrics and KPIs, it is also vital to establish baselines and targets for each of them. Where are you now and where do you want to get to? Baselines represent the initial measurement of a metric or a KPI, and the target, of course, represents the desired level of performance that you want to get to. And baselines and targets are good practice because they serve as a benchmark for evaluating and measuring progress and success, and then they enable project managers as well to identify any deviations and take corrective actions as and when needed. So, once the project is up and running and underway, project managers need to really then get into the job of regularly collecting, analyzing, and reporting on the selected metrics and KPIs. Now, this involves capturing of data, of course, evaluating performance against baselines and targets, and then identifying trends and patterns uh, from this data. And with regular reporting to project stakeholders, uh, including the project team as well as sponsors and other relevant parties, um, you can really drive uh, wide uh, awareness uh, and information and alignment uh, that all helps towards a successful project delivery. Now, on top of measuring progress, um, it's also crucial to establish a culture of continuous improvement. You can do all the measurement that you want, but if there isn't the responsiveness by the team and the willingness to fix areas that require remediation, the measurement is not worthwhile. So regularly review the metrics and KPIs, regularly identify areas improvement, and then regularly push for implementing of corrective actions. Continuous improvement practices uh, can be lessons learned sessions, retrospectives, root cause analysis, and various different feedback mechanisms such as surveys, quantitative and qualitative, all which help in identifying and addressing issues and inefficiencies, uh, which means that if they're done correctly, the project continuously evolves and improves on your digital transformation journey. And furthermore, it's important to ensure that various metrics and KPIs can be adapted and can uh, remain relevant throughout the project lifecycle. As the project progresses, the project objectives, priorities, and circumstances will change. The things that you're trying to deliver are going to change, and there will be justifiable reasons to reassess and update those metrics and KPIs as you go in order to ensure accurate measurement of success. And of course, always do that in consultation with your stakeholders. 
So to summarize, measuring success in digital projects requires establishing clear objectives, selecting relevant metrics and KPIs, and then of course setting baselines and targets, uh, regularly collecting and analyzing data, and of course fostering a culture of continuous improvement.